Hey guys, it's me, the Handy Home Girl, and I'm here at the park with Miss Royal. We're at uh, Borough Park in Atlanta, Georgia, and we just decided to come out. It's a really hot day, but it's a little later in the day, and we're just gonna hang out at the park today, get on some swings, hanging out with Grandma before uh, we end up going back to Chicago. But this, like all her other videos, this is gonna be her 12 month update. Yes, Miss Royal Lynn is now one years old, and it has been a roller coaster ride with this little girl. She is waving bye bye. Uh, she might not do it now because she might be a little sleepy, but she can say bye bye. Bye. And she is toddling around, taking steps. And we are definitely going to try to get some walking, hopefully in the next couple, maybe a month or so. She will start walking, and you know you're going to be um, there to see those first steps. But we're just out here having a good time. Maybe not her, because she, she needs a nap probably now. But we were just doing some swinging, and just, what? This is your pass seat. Can I can hear none? Uh, she can say hi and bye. Mom, well, she says hi and bye with her hands. Mama, Dada. She's been seeing Mama, Dada for quite some time now. Um, but just saying other syllables, you know, that one will that will one day form words. You're going, what? Mama. But yeah, so we just have been a good time. I'm just so happy that you guys have really shown love for me and my family and really have literally watched Royal grow up um, from an, a newborn baby to a now a one-year-old little girl. I kind of fishy have a semi-toddler, they say. And we're just super blessed to uh, have this little girl in our life. All right, we'll see you later. But I'm gonna do an update on me, so check it out. So, hey guys, it's me, Ashley, the handy homegirl. And I'm back just to give my one-year update on motherhood so far. And as you see, Royal is doing great. She, we celebrated her birthday uh, July 30th, and she's a one-year-old. and. I, I I was uh, telling people that I if you watch a show called Drain the Virgin and there was an episode where they really broke down why some people well this is just their interpretation a lot of people go all out for their child's first birthday and it made sense to me but I truly think that it's a celebration for the child but a little bit more for the parents you know like I. You know, honestly, wasn't expecting to have a baby, but I took on a challenge, and I wanted to celebrate that I successfully completed the first year of a task that is so not easy um, to do, especially when you truly believe that you are know what uh, you are uh, nowhere near being prepared to be someone's parent. So. Um, I really wanted to have my family and friends and my support system there with me um, just to ex just to say that we did it as a community. I wanted my daughter to have people in her life that loved her, that would teach her something that maybe I couldn't. And I know about two weeks, and this is when I'm probably going to get a little sappy, but I know about two weeks ago, I had my breakdown. I was... Uh, in full-blown tears because I was coming to the realization that my little girl, well, my baby, my infant, was no longer a little infant baby anymore. And it happened when I was watching, I don't know if anybody has seen, um, what's that movie? Uh, Big, Fat Greek, Big Fat Greek Wedding 2. And the mother was upset that her daughter wanted to go away to New York for college. And I was like instantly just saying like Royal, looking at her while she's like literally not even one yet, say Royal, you can't leave me. <laughs> if you go to college, you can't leave. And I felt some type of way the entire movie. I was just crying like uncontrollably. And after the movie was over, Sir was trying to go to sleep, but I'm in tears, sniffing and <laughs> <laughs> you know, doing all that stuff. And so he's like, you know what, I can't go to sleep with you crying like this. So we talked about it. And what I realized is that I I'm now I think what made me so emotional is that I am now responsible to raise someone to be a good person. You know, I 
and that makes me nervous. Like I have to teach someone to care for themselves, to care for others, to be just a good person, all around good person, law abiding, whatever it is that makes a person a good person. I have to be responsible and then I have to care about someone's well being and you know, if she leaves the house, am I gonna constantly be worried? And yes, I will, and that sucks. I don't wanna be worried about nobody else besides myself, but I have no choice now, you know? No choice to be concerned of where she is, where she's going. And I I don't know, probably some moms out there could say, hey, you're tripping, or girl, I did the same thing. You put in your comments, I cried my eyes out when my daughter turned whatever age, because I was literally in tears and fear that you know I could be I watched a little too much criminal minds but you know every episode somebody's a serial killer and I could be raising a serial killer and it's all my fault too many marathons on ion y'all need to change that up but anywho just excited to see her grow and play and just trying to walk everything's an emotional thing for me but I'm doing great to be the mommy of a beautiful little girl all right Send comments, post, like this video if you like our beautiful life and want to continue to go on this journey with us. Peace. Bye.